before we move on to the final bout of the evening, let's first of all see what these two fighters are fighting for. For the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, we present the Yokao Diamond Belt.
You know, you have Mayweather, you have Vasily Lomachenko, you have Sugar Ray Leonard, you have Muhammad Ali, you have all the greats. In this sport, this this man here is without doubt nearly probably close as you can get to unbeatable down. And the only person that's caused an indentation in him that's not from Thailand was Fabio Pinka. That was a controversial loss, but never the matter, nevertheless, whatever. One, but he is so, and you know, even when he messes about and he moves around, he can hit hard and he can take a hell of a shellacking as well. For me, he's, he's, he's gone beyond that now. I don't think he's, he's kind of, um, you know, it's not that he's unbeatable, it's like who he is, you know what I mean? It's yes. what he represents, and I think he, he's, he's like a almost like a Muhammad Ali figure, like it doesn't matter that he, he loses a fight or. It, it's, it's, it's his, it's his body honesty, of work. In, in all honesty, just, Gavin, who's going to beat him? No, exactly. I mean, but, but know, what I'm saying is his, his body of work is just, his, his legacy is just is unbelievable, you know. Yeah. It's, 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 it's incomparable. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's renowned all over the world, but any martial artist knows his name. Anyone who wants to be anyone, he paints pictures, he has such a quick mind, so fast, and with that southpaw skill, it's a well-known fact, though, that southpaws are generally better than other people. <laughs> uh, I know you told me that. <laughs> but, I mean, he, he, he processes things so quickly, his, his timing is impeccable, and he makes new moves up that shows that he thinks outside the box. Cartesian logic, as it's called. Well, and he's a very special he, He's a pioneer, is what he is. I mean, he, 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 you know, in this sport could be going for, for 100 years, you still get pioneers every now and then that move the sport along, uh, you know, to, to a different level. Like you look at football, Messi and Ronaldo, people like that move the, move the football, move, move the sport. You look at boxing, Lomachenko, move the sport on. And then you look at Sanchai, he's a pioneer, you know, he's moved yeah. the sport further along, giving new ideas, new angles, new aspects that like you've never thought of before. I mean, he's revered and he's loved and he's respected, and people just enjoy watching him, enjoy seeing his skills, and he's just... I mean, I've been privileged to come up commentating on him many, many times, and uh, each time, he just seems to get better, you know? You're very, very lucky, ladies and gentlemen, to be watching this man, because in years to come, you will say that he wants to come. But Shan Kangalusi will have other ideas. If he can cause an upset tonight, it will be on the level of Tyson losing to Douglas. Andy, Andy Ruiz knocking out Anthony Joshua. It would be on that level. Or even, even bigger shock, Brian Calder smiling twice in a day, and that's happened today, so upsets can happen. Someone's beating you up with skill. It's a teaser, 
Yeah. Is it? yeah. Clinch fighters are always causing problems. Yeah. Tall, strong clinch fighters. But you know what? I mean, who can do that? But that isn't happening today, is it? No, but no, you know, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, but I think that's what that goes back to me. Point, the original point of, of clinch fighters do well against because they actually stop and fight. You know, you couldn't. There's not. There's no fighter there alive. I don't think can stand there with him and outthink him, outmaneuver him. You know, that that would be. Like the Matrix, no, I suppose. No, no, I mean. not, not a foreign. Right. No. A Western, I don't know. So the only way to beat him is to stop him. Stop him from doing what he does. This is again. Good luck. Kangalosi now being busy with that right side. Now trying to stop getting hit with that left hand. I 
there's something, this is come back with one, he comes back with one, two, three, three different things, three different angles all the time, it's not... He's not even making a mistake, he, he, he capitalises on any space there you leave. That's 
the highest space on his shelf because that belt is absolutely super. And ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you very, very much indeed for joining us here on Yokal 45 and 46 TV with Sean and Sean the Gavin Sterry. We will return on March 7th for you and bring you some more Muay Thai action. Thank you very, very much indeed for watching. Bless you all and may you have a fantastic weekend. What's left of it? Be safe and happy. Thank you.